Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video tonight is going to be about how to do this right here, write a text in a spiral. It's pretty easy. I don't know when you would ever use it, but it's it's kind of a fun project, and there's a couple of things you're going to learn if you if you don't know them already. So what you're going to do first, or the way I would do it, is take a rectang rectangle and make it like about like that. Then convert it to a curve. Go to object, convert to curves, take your shape tool, grab that one right there. And I've got my nudge factor set so pretty low. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12 up. I'm going to grab that one right there. Go 12 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Maybe go two more. And do this one two more up so it'll be equal. Fill it in with yellow. Take away the outline. Let's just move it closer. Now with this selected, go up to Effects. Envelope tool is going to envelope, open up the envelope docker. You've got your text selected. Eyedropper inside your yellow box. And then hit Apply. And now your text is going downhill and so that's a pretty neat in itself you know that's something to that you could do in the do in the future if you ever had to do something to make it look like it was moving away or whatever then get your spiral tool which is mine is all messed up don't pay attention where mine is because corral draw through the internet is taking over i haven't got it resolved yet but I would hold down the control button and just draw a spiral. Now there's a couple of different spirals. You know, right now I'm going with this one and you can change the settings or you can go with uh, symmetrical that every, the space between them is going to be the same. So we're going to go with that one right there. Maybe that's a little bit too big for our wording. But then let's just, Let's take away the envelope docker and let's go up to effects, artistic media. And this is what's cool. And you can check this right here. So only the brushes apply or are shown. So there won't be so many. Take your, take your text and just move it over here. And you see the plus sign. It's going to ask you if you want brushes and you put okay. And then you name it, uh, Corel Draw. I'm just going to name it CD. It's going to probably be at the bottom. Take it. It's hard to tell which one it is by this, but then you just grab it out and put it on your spiral. Now it's backwards the way we want it because it's, it's done it backwards, but you can take the shape tool. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Take the shape tool and just kind of feel around till you get your blue point line. And this right here is going to reverse the direction. So now it says Corel Draw, Corel Draw, and it progressively gets smaller and smaller. I don't know when you would ever use that, but you know, there's a bunch of different things you can do with brush strokes and, and a bunch of different things. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.